The particle model isn't perfect. There are some limitations in the way that we represent what's going on inside solids, liquids and gases. And this short video will explain what the three things are. The first one is the size. We tend to represent all the particles in whatever substance as being the same size. Look at the image of the molymods. They're very similar in size when in fact there can be quite big differences between the sizes of the different atoms, as this diagram represents. We also don't represent the spaces between the particles correctly. If this gas was helium, then the particles would be way too close. The particles in helium have spaces between them that are around 55 times bigger than the particles themselves. The last thing that the particle model doesn't really take into account is the forces between the particles. For example, we say that there are no forces between the particles in a gas, but in fact there are some very small forces there. And it doesn't take into account the fact that different types of substances will have different sizes of forces between those particles, which explains why we have different melting and boiling points. In summary, although the particle model can describe the properties of solid liquids and gases, it does have limitations. And those three limitations are that it does not take into account the size of the particles, the space between the particles, or the forces of attraction between the particles. Thank you for listening.